This is my dad. Right here. Well, here's your story about a diving crew. He's got good stories. In 1966, we flew to Iceland to they put a submarine detection cable from Iceland to Greenland. And it was supposed to be top secret, but when we got to Iceland, the gals in the bar already, already knew why we was there. So it wasn't very much top secret. <laughs> then we had to go and get a, a body that drowned in the lake. So me and Krasik and Dean had to go. And only, I don't know, 30 miles it seemed like, but it took us about 10 hours to get there. The road was so rough. The government rented it from Iceland for the GIs to have recreation. And a guy drowned. If he had just stood up, he could have walked ashore. And he was in the Navy? No, he was in the Air Force. Oh. So then we got to, had to blast the trench from the beach a mile. Then every quarter mile, we blew a crater to put this cable in and anchor it with cement. Well, Krasik, he was, uh, I don't know, you call him weirdo or what, but he'd always get drunk, eat glass. He was at an EM club, and he'd pass the glass around to girls and stuff. You want a bite? <laughs> and this one time, he did that, and this gal grabbed it and took a big bike out of, bite out of it. And he said, I'm in love. <laughs> but anyway, we was out there <clears throat> putting plastic explosive. We was only allowed to set off 350 pounds of explosives because they had all these towers there, radio antennas. So we decided to set off about a thousand or two thousand pounds of TNT. Well, those guy wires and those antennas was breaking and snapping. We got in a little trouble for that. And then Krasik did something, and <clears throat> whoever went down and hooked the explosive up was the one that set it off. Krasik had a big hangover, and he wanted to set it off, but he didn't want to die. So we said, okay. So we went down, and these cable, these hose explosives, you connect them together. They're 25 foot long, they got 50 pounds of TNT in them, and they weigh 75 pounds. But you can connect them and run them for a mile if you want to. So anyway, we run them out there about two or three hundred feet. Then we went and run single underneath the rubber raft that Krasik was at. And we brought the cable up and told him he'd go ahead and set it off. And me and Steinbrink went and got in our boat. And we got off and Krasik hooked that thing up and he set it off. Well, he went about 30 feet in the air. <laughs> Because we put that explosive under, underneath him. There's only about 30 feet of water, but that old rubber boat flew him out. <laughs> he, he looked like a big old swan up there trying to fly. <laughs> well, he kind of sobered up. So we got in trouble for that one, too. So that was our, part of our Iceland trip. So that was one story. So that was enough of stories for tonight. <laughs> His name was Crossy Joe. That's awesome, Dad. How do I remember that? That's been a few years ago. And that's from your days in the Navy. But now I'm sitting around the campfire with my daughter and having mosquitoes eat us. Okay, there's your story. Thanks. Thanks, Dad. I hope you like that. He's always full of them. See you later.